Yeah, well, I was born at Inman Valley and uh, 1918 and grew up there until I was about 25, I suppose. And went to school at Inman Valley, went, started when I was seven and left when I was 14 and then uh, worked on the farm and uh, we were married and, uh, and then I was, in, I, was, I was in the army for, for four, four years. Came out of the army, came back to Inman Valley. I was on a dairy, and about 1952, I got up one morning to milk the cows and found I couldn't walk and had polio. I'd always boasted you'd never get me off the land, but the Lord had other plans. We moved to Ad Adelaide, and uh, I was uh, confined to bed for four months and told I'd never walk again but uh, I was wonderfully healed by the Lord for a purpose. As far as my Christian experience goes, I was converted at the age of 17 in a very strange place in the Victor Harbour Picture Theatre. It was a after church service of the Victor Harbour Convention used to be held every Christmas and it was a combined after church service. The preacher was a late Reverend John Ridley. The Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. And there is no doubt about it that he came to save all men because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That is, that on, his, on the basis of his righteousness, I am accepted as righteous. Though I know in my own heart that I am not in myself a righteous man, yet the imputed righteousness of Christ is placed to my account. This is very wonderful. This covers all my sin with the cleansing blood of Jesus and then gives me a robe of righteousness and a garment of salvation. And at the age of 17 I was converted and from that day to this I have never had a doubt concerning my salvation. And in about 1962 I had a call from the secretary of the uh, St. Peter's Baptist Church would I go out and be their pastor and I said no I would never be able to preach in the same church for any length of time. But uh, the very next Sunday, at that time, we were attending the Omni Park Baptist Church and the preacher there was preaching about Paul's uh, call to Macedonia. And, uh, and the preacher, he, he just about looked at me and said, in 12 months time, if, is the Lord calling you to do something? And in 12 months time, will you be able to say what Paul said? I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision and uh, I went home that night and rang the secretary and said I'll come out and see you and we had five years there as pastor of the St. Peter's Baptist Church, a wonderful time, a number of conversions and young people and, and then immediately after that uh, the Parkside Baptist Church, their minister had to resign because of ill health and they asked me to go there for six months while they got somebody else. And I ended up there for another five years. So, uh, and then uh, after that, we came back to Inman Valley and, uh, and now back in Victor Harbour. So I've been, a, and, and I began preaching around the age of 20. So it's well over 70 years I've been a preacher and uh, the Lord has never failed to, to get when he gives a message to support and uh, and, and up, uphold and to feel it's the Lord's message. I'm, I'm still preaching occasionally, so uh, and the Lord has been faithful.